Hello everybody, thanks for watching this video. This is about the latest version of Perfectly Clear Lab that our math and physics whiz are constantly working on to innovate and we put this video together so you can get an overview of what's new and how to use it. So let's dive in, I think you'll be really impressed. So the first thing, as I walk through most of this stuff, I'm gonna demo using Perfectly Clear Workbench as you can see. You all have a copy of Perfectly Clear, the objective of the workbench is to allow a testing tool so you can run our corrections through, see in real time how, how you want to use them and how you want to fine tune them, what the corrections do, and then you apply any custom presets that you make in perfectly clear lab in your production. So that's just the overview. We often get questions on how the two interplay. So let's dive right in. So the first thing in this update, which is pretty awesome, is our new intelligent auto, which you can see right here. It used to be called Details, we've renamed it to Intelligent Auto, and it's more robust than ever before. One of the things we've added in is what we call our Face Aware Exposure, which gives you a better image more robustly. This is this FAE box that you can see. So if you look at this image, that's the before, that's after. The Face Aware Exposure on, we're applying 36% exposure. If I turn it off, what, what you'll notice is this is what we did before. We would often apply too much exposure or less than an ideal amount. So when we turn on the face aware exposure, we detect the faces, make sure it's optimized for facial areas. And so you get the perfect exposure. So in cases like this, where before we went a little bit too much on exposure, now we give you a perfect amount. It also works to reverse on these really dark images. This is the before, this is the after, you can see it looks great. And we apply 150% exposure, all automatically, nothing you need to do. If we were to turn that off, you would see what we did before, which was only applied up here in the top right, 100% exposure. That's the before, that's after, which is not as ideal as right now, where there's 150% exposure. In case you're curious, you can at any time go view and show detected faces, and we'll show you what we detected, so you can see, even though the faces are small and they're on a quad and it's not a portrait shot, we picked up the faces to give you the best image possible. To show you two more examples of this cool stuff, here's a wedding photograph, and you can see it's really dark, high key range because of the high dynamic range. We're applying 130% exposure, face aware is on, that's the before, that's the after. When I turn it off, then you're going to notice that's what it looks like, and that's the before, that's after. So we didn't do it enough before, and again, now as soon as we turn it on, we detect the faces, make sure that Face, the exposure is optimized for the face, which is the most important thing, and obviously wedding photos, these types of things. Lastly, here's a case where the image before we apply too much, and now we make sure we don't go too much. So here's a 50% exposure with face aware on. If I turn it off, you'll see what we did before, which is 100% before, after. And again, if I just toggle it on, now you can see what, what we apply. So much better. So the why this is important and relevant is your batch processing thousands of images are just going to get you a more ideal exposure robustly. You don't have to worry about anything and your clients are going to, customers are going to love it. So how, how does that look and appear in lab? Well, if you go under our system and preset, under perfectly clear core, you'll see face aware exposure. Automatically it's toggled on. There's nothing you need to do. We know based upon all the testing that you're going to like it. You can toggle it off and go back to the old one, but we don't believe that's necessary in all the testing. Let us know what, what you think, and we'd love to hear your feedback on that. Now, the first, or the last other thing, as I mentioned, this is Intelligent Auto. So to see that everything that's running in the new Intelligent Auto, when you click the Adjust tab, you can see all the corrections that are turned on. So we are doing some exposure correction. It's more robust than ever before. We are applying some depth correction. Skin and depth just makes the image pop a little bit more. Our color vibrancy, we've toned that down before. We used to use a value of zero, now we're using a value of five, now we're using a value of zero to make sure the image is, isn't too, uh, too color saturated, which would happen in a couple of cases. We apply some sharpen, we apply infrared removal, which means we're removing red from the skin tones, and we also do a little bit of shine removal, red eye, eye enhanced dark circles. And what that means is eyes, you're gonna see them pop a lot more remove red eye. So there's a couple of things behind the scenes in addition to the face aware exposure that we've done to make the intelligent auto your starting point. It's more robust, make sure images are always better, make sure they're never worse. 
so that you can rely on that more and more. So that's that's something we're excited about, and we suggest you use that as your starting point. If you're already using a different preset, and or your old custom one, you can keep on using that, but we do suggest you play with that a little bit. Let me just load in this next image here. If you do like images with more pop, then you can use, click try the vivid preset, which you're going to see. And images do pop a little bit more, this little more contrasty look, and that's that's the difference, the main difference between these two. Uh, all right, so cool. So that, that talks about the intelligent auto, what's new on that aspect, where to find it in the workbench, how to play with it, and then again, where to find it in lab. So the second thing that we've added is we've added 48 new automatic presets to make your life easier. Starting in Workbench, you'll see there's eight core presets, perfectly clear essentials, we call them. These are dealing with the intelligent auto, vivid, treat those as your one-touch starting point that works on everything, but we also have a couple other essential ones for dealing with noise, we've got landscape images, and uh, some beautify ones. So these are a high-level, excellent starting point. What we've added in is eight that are specific to exposure, and then if I click here, we've added in eight new ones specific to eyes. So an intelligent auto is just dealing with eyes. So if I click that, toggle before, before and after, let me just zoom in a little bit here so you can see, see the impact more. You can see that's the before, that's after. Intelligent auto eyes is designed to always make the image better. We remove the dark eye circles and we enhance the eyes and so that they look a bit brighter say eyes are the, the window to the, your soul so it's important that you look alert you don't look tired and that's why it looks really robust we've added in fun ones like morning coffee which is going to zoom out a little bit it's going to enlarge your eyes you've had your coffee just a little bit so slightly enlarge them a little bit and things like raccoon eyes to make it more aggressive on removing dark eye circles and there's several others that you can play with here as well in essence the intelligent auto is part of our core I auto preset that I showed you just a minute ago always works better than making it worse. And so these are something that you can always run because they are robust. They're, they still look like you were not distorting the faces. And you're just making you look more rested a couple of years younger. Everybody loves them. So that's the eight perfect eyes. If I click one more, we've added 16 skin presets. So intelligent auto, let me just zoom out a little bit here, is your starting point. So what you're going to see. So that's the before, that's after. I can also show them side by side so you can take a peek here. Intelligent Auto does steal the smoothing skin. If I click the Just tab, you can always see what exactly we're applying, some blemish removal or removing some shine. It will always make your image better. It will never make it fake, never look like a Barbie doll. That's what makes our technology unique in there. Always better. So it's a very subtle one. And we detect age, we detect gender. So we're able to automatically determine the best correction. There's a lot of others you can play with. For example, if you wanted to add a bit of a healthy glow, you can click that one, you're going to notice a healthy glow that has been out of the sun. Strong glow, you can add a little bit more, which is actually going to add a bit of blush. And so there are some fun ones you can play with. If I hit the second tab, Perfect Skin 2, you can see we've got things like male school portrait, female school portrait, high fashion, which is going to be more aggressive if I click that, and to all the way to supermodel skin which is deliberately really, really going smooth. Something you're not going to want to do automatically, but in some cases it's going to work well and give you that look to the work. So we're giving you a wide range of the subtle, automatic, always better, never worse, something you can batch process to some custom presets that you can apply heavily and give you that specific look. All of these presets, by the way, were created by world-class professional photographers so we work with a lot of the top wedding photographers in the world and ones that photograph celebrities and so they came up with these and so they are they are tested and they are used in their professional workflow okay if i click one more you're going to see oh, we're back to perfectly clear essentials so those are the five different presets that or sections we've added to summarize perfectly clear essentials perfect exposure perfect eyes, perfect skin, and then the second one for perfect skin. And so you can see all of those in there. Now, to show you where they appear in lab, when I go down to lab, again, I'm just preset, you'll, you'll drop them all in here. So it 
intelligent, there are perfectly clear essentials, we put all the groups here. Perfect eyes, we put all the groups there. Perfect skin, we list them all there. Uh, perfect exposure, we list them all there. There's also two, two sections that at the moment are not in Workbench, but they will be very soon. And those are dealing with detail, which are noise removal, and the other ones are with the color to make your color pop even more. We have a landscape one, one that's dealing with extra rich color. These are ones you want to apply not in the batch process and make rich color because it's very extreme, but it looks great one on one. All of these presets, you can create your own custom ones, you can combine them together to come up with your look. But look at these presets as a starting point to see what perfectly clear could do. So there is a lot we've added. They're all created by world-class professionals. Again, as a starting point, if you're new to Perfectly Clear, start with Intelligent Auto under Essentials. That's going to work well on people. It's going to work well on outdoors. It's, it's your starting point. If you deal with a lot of people, then play with the eyes and skin, and then combine those and create your own custom preset depending upon which ones you're liking. If you're already a customer and you've got your existing workflow, Play around with these and you may want to tweak your existing custom look that you have. Any questions, we're standing by to let us know. So just ping us and let us know. All right, the other thing that we've added in the third thing is a little bit more control. So again, going back to presets, what we've added under skin and eyes is a slider bar for light diffusion so you can adjust the strength of it. And under perfectly clear core, when we go fidelity, we've also added a slider bar so you can just the strength of it. Before it was on or off only. This is something people were asking for. And so let me just give you a quick overview. What do those do? Light diffusion works great. I'm just going to zoom in here. Works great on images, portrait images. It diffuses the light. So if I go under our workbench and go light diffusion and turn it on, you're going to notice a slightly warmer look, a slightly diffused look. If it's off, if it's on, you notice the lights are a bit less harsh and it's diffused it's a professional look so it will slightly boost the exposure slightly warm the image it works good on many landscapes as well but it was designed for portraits so that's what light diffusion does the correction isn't new but the ability to adjust is new and the second thing then is adjusting fidelity and what does fidelity do well fidelity deals with the lack of purple being properly captured here's a flower that should be purple but what's happened is the camera's captured it as too blue. When I turn on Fidelity, you notice it remaps it back to purple. And I can, at any time you can go vivid, which is gonna create an extra vivid look as well. So it just pops the image more, especially if you increase our color vibrancy, you're gonna notice it even more. So that's what Light Diffusion and Vivid does. And that's what we added in to give you more control on that. We've also done some things just in the back end to make sure that image quality was consistent between workbench and lab. There were a couple of cases where there were some different results that we've gone through to make sure it's all consistent. Now let me just go back to our lab software for a second. We've added in a new help process, which we mentioned in the email that you've received. So if at any time you got any support, obviously you can pick up the phone and call us. Down here you can just click support and go contact us. And we're going to be redirected to a new form. You enter your name, info that's going to go to a dedicated support team and we'll get back to you right away. You can also send an email at, B, at b2b help at affentech.com which is the same thing as the form. We've also updated our help manual here so if you click help we've got a new help manual with all the information in there what the presets do, starting point and so that's revised. So those are some resources for you and I think those are the key things I wanted to go over. So again, if you've got any questions, we're here to help. Let us know. Let us know what you think of the latest inventions. We think you're going to love them. Enjoy saving time perfectly clear. And thank you for listening.